Welcome or welcome back to iGaming for some more survival news. Today we're going to be talking about Sons of the Forest. And that is because they recently put out a small patch. Now, admittedly, I did miss the mark on this one. It did come out a week ago on March the 13th. It does add a few little features and a whole host of new improvements and bug fixes. Now, some of you may already know 1.0 has already released and the team haven't really said anything else. Are they going to continue to update the game, add new features, or is 1.0 sort of the end point and then they're going to be working on bringing it to consoles? Unfortunately, we don't really know anything else. The team haven't said what's going on in the future, if there is going to be any plans at all. But this update is a good one. It adds a pretty cool feature, and that is Kelvin. Kelvin can now get into a golf buggy, which, I mean, who doesn't want Kelvin sat with him in a golf buggy, right? Now, if you are a fan of Sons of the Forest and survival games in general, subscribe to the channel, drop a like in the video, and stick around for much more survival content. Let's jump in and check out this update. Now, it is a small patch, so there's not a lot to it, but the team have said, Hey everyone, this patch gives Kelvin the ability to get into golf carts, allows players to create a new armor type, and adds improvements to the auto foundation snapping system. There's also some additional fixes and improvements. So for the new features, they've also added the ability to Kelvin to get into golf carts and seat occupied indicators for golf carts and also added a new armor type. Alongside that, they've added a new auto foundation that will allow snapping at various heights instead of only the highest. But that is it for the features. Yeah, we've gone past 1.0. The last update did add a whole host of cool things and really, really enjoyed the 1.0 update. Spent loads of time on that, done a little bit more building and had loads of fun. The game is a million times better with that 1.0 update. They added so many new things and it was great. But improvements. There's a few there that really definitely help uh, just smooth out the gameplay and makes things just a little bit easier. Things like being able to actually collect arrows and spears once they've been thrown or shot. Because, yes, you could do it, but it was a right pain in the ass to get them back. Especially some of the carbon arrows. They always seem to disappear, and it was a right pain in the ass. Especially if you were playing on a sort of hardcore mode. And limiting yourself to what you could do and what you could use. They've also now added the GPS tracker to correctly align with player direction. So, when using the glider and things like that, it will actually align correctly now. So, you'll be able to see where you're going if you are focusing on that GPS. You can now carry also up to 16 bones, which I suppose that'll help because you're going to need a lot of bones for some of the crafting stuff that they've added in that 1.0 patch. They've also improved Timmy run animations and added money cannibal sleeping animations and the 180 turn on a rock for male cannibals. The raccoons now trigger some trap types and eagles will sometimes grab fish out of water, which I haven't seen yet, but I'm very excited to see that. It sounds awesome. They've also balanced the fire torch and improved performance of effects when Plater is active. Now when it comes to fixes, there's not really a lot, especially compared to the 1.0 patch. There's around about 40 in this one, which is a decent number. Um, decent ones there to fix just some of the tiny and minor annoying issues. All feedback and bug reports in the discussions area of the community hub, which please continue to do that. And if there is anything that you'd like to see in the game, that would definitely be the best place to put it. Hopefully the team will listen out and see some new things on there. But when it comes to the future of the game, what do you think N Knight are going to do next? Are they going to continue to progress on Sons of the Forest or will that be it for them? Are they going to wrap it up there and potentially work on, on something different? Could we see a Sons of the Forest 3 or, well, a The Forest 3? Who knows? I'd like to see a continuation of the storyline, but I'd also like them to improve on this one. Uh, well, not so much improve, but add more items. I do really enjoy the game. I've not really got too many gripes with it. Could they do some form of DLC? I think that would be really, really cool. But what type of DLC could they do? Or would they continue to go down this same route and just put an update out there whenever and whatever, depending on what they need to fix or what the community have reported? Or will they follow the path of the original Forest game? Now, the original Forest came out of their beta branch and released version 1.0 in April of 2018, April the 30th to be exact. Then they continued to develop the game for the next few months, all the way up until the end of 2018, when they finally wrapped it up with version 1.11 in January of 2019. Now, a majority of those updates were for VR, it is also worth mentioning that if you haven't picked it up, it's currently on sale at the moment for just £3.87. If you've enjoyed Sons of the Forest, this one 
definitely lacking features compared to Sons of the Forest, but those general survival mechanics are there, and I feel like the first one was a hell of a lot scarier than Sons of the Forest, but definitely worth if you haven't already got it in your library. But as mentioned, they continued to develop the game for sort of nine, eight, nine months. So will we see that with Sons of the Forest? Will we see more than what they've already done? Or will it just be basically porting it out to the Steam Deck or adding a VR version? Hopefully, it's not just VR and they do continue to develop the game and add different features. But that is yet to be seen. And I don't really put too much out there in terms of news or future plans or roadmaps or anything like that. So if you have been following the forest and Sons of the Forest, then, well, you'll already know that. They, they don't communicate much at all other than updates and release dates. Don't get me wrong, game's brilliant. I'm sure the team are great. But when it comes to communication with the community, there's not really too much there. I would love to see what their future plans are, if there are any future plans for the game. I highly doubt it at this point. I think they will do what they did with the forest. And here's 1.0. Enjoy it. Have fun. And play the game. But what do you guys think? Do you think Sons of the Forest will continue? Do you think they'll be adding small updates? Or will it just be VR? Hopefully we do get some news on whether they'll bring it to consoles anytime soon. I would love to see it on consoles. It's a great game. Absolutely awesome. And having everybody play it will be brilliant. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. For now we're going to wrap that one up there. I've been Wired. You've been awesome. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.